perfect timing. It decided to start raining as soon as we got here. Well, look at that. Christmas is here at SeaWorld Orlando already. And um, everything outdoors has been suspended until further notice. And I think um, Howl Scream is outside. Did not see this coming today. Thought we would be able to enjoy SeaWorld. But uh, I see that's not half to get it. Now you're gonna let it get me down at all. I am here to have fun. It's my last night here. And I am going to enjoy every second. These are my little Halloween nails. Oh, did you see it? It's got a little ghost. And then this side has a um, little pumpkin and a little bat. My tights have little bats on them. And this was not a skirt, but I made it into a skirt. So yeah, I'm like, wasn't expecting to go do hollow screams at all, but if I were to be doing hollow screams, I was ready. Wait, are you ready to hear this? Listen. Well, oh. So we are still sitting here. Haven't really moved at all. I am so sad. This is literally like. I'm a little sad because this is like my last day and like with my family and like. I don't control the weather though, you know? Like it's not my fault. Now we're going to make our way. Oh, look at how pretty that sky is. My camera does not pick up any of the things I'm seeing and I really want you guys to see it too with me. But now we are gonna make our way back to the front of the park and head over to the main entrance of Hollow Scream. That sky is gorgeous. I literally have no idea how to show you guys that. Wow. Oh, and through the trees. It's seriously beautiful. Maybe I can get like a like a little shot of it on my phone or something. It reminds me of like Rita. So like I used to like when Simba when Simba passed away and he was my cat, I had him for 17 years. When he would pass away and I would see skies like that, I would think that was like the, his way of like saying hi, I'm okay. So now that Simba, I think it's Rita too. Kind of picking it up right now. Definitely oranger in person. But that's Rita saying hi, I'm okay and I'll see you someday and I love you. Oh my goodness. That is insane. So now that we are officially exiting the park because we used our regular passes to go into the main entrance, look at that. Now we have to leave here because we weren't planning to do this and head down this way to go into the other entrance for, no, the main entrance for Hollow Screams. There is another entrance and it's by the shark one, but we all want to make sure we see it the right way. All right, so we just went back to the car, put the umbrellas away because we're like, you know what? We don't feel like carrying these around. We're going in the main entrance and I am super excited. It looks so fun already. Okay, we are through security. I don't know where they scan your tickets, but look at how cool this is. This is right up my alley. I'll let you, oh, oh, fuck. I don't smell Horror Nights though. I don't smell it. They got emo music playing. This is like, yeah, this is an event for me. Oh my God, you guys, look at that sky. And we just walked in and right to the left, they have the first bar and it's called Siren's Last Call. It looks so cool. I'm kind of freaking out because I'm really loving this. It's like a really cool dance party that no one's at and no one's dancing at. So I guess the dance party that was abandoned is like, Coming really cool. All right, this is the stuff we like to see. <laughs> so, I really wanted to come over here and get some footage of this because you know what? There's no dance party like a dance party by yourself. So look at her, she's like a sexy fish lady. She's shaking that booty, she's dancing around.
see? She's got a net on her belly. This is my theme song. All right, so it has been so loud I haven't been able to talk about it, but I got the pumpkin smash. You can see smoke coming from it, and there's a bloody eyeball in here because they sucked the life out of somebody and ripped their eyeballs out and threw it in a drink. And the straws are candy. Hold on. So on top of this being really cool and they're having a bloody eyeball in there, uh, the straws are edible and they're candy. <laughs> what this is um, but I don't hate it it's very I don't know all right and then as soon as you walk in on this playground over here they got women dancing around on the playground nothing more exciting than that I keep fighting the straw mm, good straw literally no idea what we are She's wild out here. There she is, Miss America. Oh, look at that. It's the fear tunnel. I know where I am now. I was kind of confused. We are where they filmed Jaws, and we're in that stadium right now. And then here is Chill Axe. Must be little snackies. I hear shovels being dragged on the floor. This is another scare zone. You can hear them, but you can't see them. Oh, she's like, oh, an, an angry critter. We got angry critters out here. Oh my goodness gracious. They're hissing, they're growling, they're playing their trombones. Oh my gosh, she's upset tonight too. Everybody's got that time of the month here at Horror Nights of SeaWorld. See? Now we have come upon our first house of the night called Water's Edge Inn. I am so ready to compare this to Horror Nights. All right, I think we're about to go in, so I will see you on the other side. So excited. For this being the first year of this event, that house was really good. It was cute. There was a really funny part where like, I was like looking down at this guy and he goes, come look at it. It was just so cute. I really actually liked it a lot. So. House number one, it was pretty good. That's like the part of Frozen, because this is like the Frozen like scare zone, where Anna and Elsa are like reaching out to each other, and they're like, there's no stronger bond than a sister. So now we're down by like the Arctic part, where there's the helicopter ride, and you see the polar bears and beluga whales. There's some dead people over here that's looking right at, look at her, she's looking right at me. So this theme for this like themed bar over here is beluga whales. So instead of going up to the bar over here, I have decided to come over here and just try to scare people, which you can pay to like try and scare people in the house. I see lights coming. and scare me because I have the um, express pass thing. So I'm going right in right now. So I have to say, and if I'm saying it, you know it's true. That house was awesome. And you know what? It's honestly a little bit better than Horror Nights in a way that SeaWorld doesn't make you go single file into the house, which I understand why Horror Nights couldn't do that because the waits would be like 500 minutes. But that house, I had so many jump scares from it just because there's no one in front of me. Literally, there's no one in front of us. It was so good. I loved it. I did get scared. It really was so good. And now we're in the like Arctic gift shop right now. And I loved, I loved it. It was so fun. I really liked it a lot. See, for that being their first year, that I would think this was like year 10. It was really good. A little critter. Oh, she's upset. It's her mating call. 
Even the garbage cans out here are smoking. All right, we're on our next scare zone, which is called Deadly Ambush. I don't know what it's about, but uh, it's about you being hunted. Now, please turn back now if you want to live. There you go. You got your answer. He looks lost. You're gonna die. Well, thank God. Here's an outhouse because I had to pee so bad. Oh. Oh shit. Shoot. Sorry. How awesome. Who it is here at SeaWorld? Dr. Facilier here in the bayou. Going down the bayou. Going down the bayou. I gotta stop singing because we don't have much battery. See? Pretty much like Disney. Almost exact. Oh my god, like literally exactly the same as Disney if you think about it. Oh wow, would you look at that? When you walk into the, the, the garden grotto, there is it's like another themed bar. They got naked women hanging from the rafters. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I even tried to do this, my neck would have been broken. I'd be dead right now. I wouldn't be talking. So, uh, that's pretty amazing. That's some strength that takes, because, yeah, no, I would have died. So, the only thing that I wanted all night long is another gummy eye. It's coming with your, your cart. Oh my gosh, so... I was just standing there minding my own beeswax and someone comes over and they're like, how many bats did you kill, you bat killer, to make that skirt? I said, four. She goes, that's four too many. I only kill humans. I said, I kill humans too. So, we had a good long conversation about life. We both kill bats and humans. And um, everything's good, we're like besties now. I know how this ends, so. Okay, so she just said that we poisoned the water and that there's no water left for them to survive. Tell me this is not like a Moana story. No one can resist the siren's call. So this show, I really don't quite understand. It's a little bit weird and I don't really know what's going on at all. He does, he likes that candy straw. So I gotta be honest with you guys, that show was really not that great. I didn't really quite understand what was going on. Um, I, I felt like it was kind of like a scare zone, but like a little bit more, but like I still didn't really quite understand. I left it. Honestly, I, it bored me so much that I did have to walk away. All right, I guess we're getting hungry. We're going in and we're getting some pretzels. You know, nothing says horror like pretzels. All right. So I just finished the pretzel nuggets. We have two more houses, one more scare zone, one more show. Oh my god, my lips are horrible. I'm like literally embarrassed. So I'm, oh, see those necklaces right there to the right? If you buy those, which I never would in a million years, um, they don't scare you. They're called no boo. So yeah, if you have little ones and you want to come here anyway, which I would if I had little ones, I put them in the stroller, put the no boo on, and I would get scared and like let them sleep. I'd be like, you know what? We're gonna go get scared, but you're gonna go sleeping. So this is our third to last house, and this is called Captain's Revenge. Pretty excited. We have one more after this. Okay. Okay. Let me get through this kelp. Um, was, it was great. I actually got scared probably almost every scene. Because good for them, not good for me. Which is the thing that kind of sets it apart from Horror Nights, is that like I get to be in there with my group, and I'm not in there with anyone else. So it's pretty intense and pretty scary. But, it was good. It was really good. It was good. It was really good. All right, we are on our last house of the night. It's called Dead Vines. 
and it's kind of like between Starbucks and pretzels. So here we go. So that house was called The Vine. It's kind of like where the Arctic thing is, but not really. It's like where the pass holder lounge is. And honestly, it was definitely like the least exciting. I did like get scared three times, but it definitely was not the best one. And that was my last one. So I want to finish on a high note and see if I can get to one more house. Yo, these scare zones. You don't see it coming, and there is not like horror nights. They come and they get right in your freaking face. Someone in here is pooping. Told you he was pooping. Don't be scared, guys. Very interesting to see people like you. Like me? Yes. Make it out of here. Very rare. I'm not gonna, honored. I'm not honored. But you know you could do me a favor. Yeah. Be a baby, darling. I already am. Obviously. Exactly. All right. Way different than okay. So obviously, boobash is gonna be like for five-year-olds, but I love it anyway. I'm not saying anything bad. Horror nights is kind of very like spread out, and they don't get in your face. They're like not grabbing at you and stuff. They are here. They are. They are like in your face. You can smell their breath on you. It's really cool. It's definitely everything I wanted to have. I'm sad I waited till the last night of this trip to do this with everyone, but this is great. And look at the effects here. Like, look at that fog. It's like a... Okay, so, all right. Second time around. First time I got scared the, the bejesus out of me. It was just as scary this time as it was the first time. And <laughs> they get in your face. Like, they're like this close to you. It's nothing like... I love Horror Nights. That was, Horror Nights is like everything to me. But this is really great. So if you're like wondering, should I do this? Um, so far, my experience, yes. Yes. And I don't get scared easy. I was very scared tonight. So on the way out, one more house. We're gonna do Howl's Edge in one more time so I can give a good, fair rating of what scared me the most. Oh crap, I did not think I was gonna get that on film. I waited earlier for so long to catch that on film and I finally did because I was accidentally recording the whole time. But I did it. We did it together. I miss it. There's fire that shoots out from this. Okay, so I did all the scare zones. I did one of the shows and I did every house. I did two of the houses twice. And um, honestly, the best house was the Arctic one because it had so many like jump scares. First time scared, second time scared, still scared. And that is rare for me. So I do not get scared very easy. Even at like Universal, it's very rare. But you're also lined up one by one single file. Here you're not. So you don't have a choice but to be scared because you don't know what's gonna happen. And then um, second scariest was that one we just did, the hotel one, the inn one. Third scariest is obviously something I don't remember. So how do I say fourth scariest is the vine one? I am an absolute idiot. The one that I'm missing is one of actually the really good ones. It was the pirate one. So that's number three. Number four is the vine one. And I knew, even not knowing what number three was going to be, because I couldn't remember it, the, the, the vine one was the worst one because I didn't even get scared once. And oddly, the vine one had the longest wait time out of all of them. Go figure, right? So SeaWorld, you did amazing. This was incredible. It was so great. I would pay for it all over again. I would get the express pass because the weights were pretty intense. And um, yeah, I loved it. I had a great night. I had someone, I didn't eat any snacks though. I had pretzels. I lied. I meant Horror Night themed snacks. Sea World Horror Night themed snacks. Oh, I want to come back again already so bad. But I have a really early flight, so I'm gonna go.